Hi, Andres here. Uh, we are doing some production today. Uh, it's just the beginning. I'm I'm going to shoot some videos, but the main idea is um, Maria let me to try her baby grind that we have here in the room uh, for different mic techniques that I was going to try for years, um, and uh, and we are going to try that today to do some setups. So that's just. Just has started. We finished the setup of the of the Moog piano bar already, so that had to be calibrated. And uh, I'll be also using her setup of the Apogee ensemble, and uh, we will be uh, running several mics today. So just going to show you some mics that we're going to use. Um, well, we will try several techniques. First, for uh, to find the best, I would say, combination of mics used to be used together. And I have several mics that I'm going to try here. First of all, the treasure that I got recently. That's a set of the uh, CUs, uh, stereo matched bar pair. And that is basically, um, uh, it's a 013 that version. Great mics. Um, so that would be actually set up today in the stereo field to do some, uh, well, next to a hammer placement. We'll see how it's going for that. Then um, I have my, uh, well, go-to mic, uh, Audio Technica 4050. And um, I have another older Audio Technica 3035 that I have for several years. These two I will try to use in the um, MS setup. We'll see how it's going. Maybe I will not be happy with the result. Maybe I'll be happy. I don't know yet. Um, then uh, we'll be using one of my oldest mics. Actually, my first mic that I bought oh, roughly about 20 years ago, honestly. Uh, that is Octava. Uh, Octava in Russian. So it's MK220. Uh, well, uh, well cheap mic but i still have it and i'm no longer using it marie is using it actually so we will try it underneath the piano to see how it can get some meat from the piano maybe it won't be able to pick up it at all who knows we'll see also because i'll be running out of the mic inputs on the ensemble we will be running it the one of my early uh well uh, professional um preamps that i bought again that was like maybe 17 years ago already. So uh, it's by a Russian company called DigiLab. That preamp is actually, it, it's still working great. A uh, good preamp for the money that I played. And, and of course, to, to that uh, well, combination of mics, we also have a set of sheet mics. And for the sheet mics, we have a Behringer C2. The reason I keep this, is because of this. <laughs> so simply because Soyuz is not coming with the, uh, with the plate to mount both mics together uh, in a Y combination. So um, that's why I need it. So mics useless, obviously. Um, well, we, we may still try it later. Uh, anyway, um, I think that's it. Uh, let's get it going. Uh, let's get everything set up and then we'll do some shooting and play some music for you. After a few hours of playing with mic placement, I think we found some very good position for them uh, to capture the actual sound of the grand piano. So um, the two Soyuz mics, as I planned originally, they are in a stereo field in this front section. And the idea was to catch up with some, uh, well, Hummer action sound and get that attack sound from these two mics. Then these two Udo Technica, uh, they sat in MS pair, well, as close as I could possibly do that. So uh, on, the, on the Mac side, there is a plugin which is running and decoding that MS placement, which actually happened, well, just a fantastic. So they both, well, all of these, both of these sets, they work like in the same stereo field, um, providing the, the good, I would say, ambience uh, to the oral grand piano. And underneath um, Baby Grand, uh, we have Octava mic. 
uh, in that position to to take some meat uh, from these and to, to provide this mono bass, solid bass of the sound. I think the result is really good, especially well, especially with the Soyuz mics. On their own, they sound just fantastic. Uh, if I wouldn't have all of that set up, then of course, you know, uh, uh, we wanted to do our best to capture the sounds. Uh, that would be totally enough just to have these two uh, and get everything. Uh, in this specific position, of course, they don't get that much of a bottom sound. Uh, well, simply because the way I, I placed that. Uh, but if I would do that slightly different, I think I'll be able to get good results as well. Anyway, um, now we have everything running, including the uh, piano bar. That again, um, uh, I'm using it just an effect. And, uh, and on the post-processing, uh, we will probably add some syn synthetic reverb and synthetic sounds to that. Absolutely not distracting the original main sound of a piano. Uh, just again, just because we could do I found that it'd be a very interesting way to play with the MIDI data and, well, put some library, well, not actual library, but to put some sound design under that. So that is the cool idea. Now we'll try to do some capture um, and, um, and let's see uh, the result now. See you in a sec.